Hello folks, welcome back to our channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing another episode of Medium, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 11th episode of the fourth season called Lady Killer. The episode was directed by Peter Warner and written by David Felice Avena, and the episode originally aired on April 7th, 2008. So in this episode... Allison is going to get some re re really strange dreams. And uh, these dreams are going to involve <clears throat> an older woman who is basically <clears throat> a cougar. A cougar indeed. So basically, a cougar is an older woman who enjoys and prefers the company of younger men, right? So basically, she would seduce men. And basically, when their guard is down, after whatever happens, happens, she would basically kill them, right? So, you guessed it right. It's like, she's like a black widow, right? And basically, whenever she decides to kill, she has, she's actually detailing out exactly how she's going to do it. As if she's encouraging people to do the same, right? So, this is pretty creepy. And uh, some of the weapons she uses are really, like, big deal, like, very scary, like, very, very terrifying indeed, such as a nail gun in one, at one point, a, some other time, I believe, a knife, and uh, stockings, some other time. You get the picture, right? A lot of different weapons choice of weapons varies from one murder to the next. So it's very, it's, it's very strange, right? And uh, dangerous and scary. She's a scary woman indeed. And basically, Allison is going to team up with Lee Scanlon in order to find this cougar and stop her from claiming any other, any more innocent lives, men, men's innocent lives. So basically, as they're going to be investigating it appears that Lee is going to be skeptical about Allison's dreams, especially since he doesn't really think that a woman could do such a thing, could do such murders, could commit such murders. And he's going to think that he's going to believe that whoever is behind this has to be a man, has to be a male, has to be a man, right? So eventually they're going to be able to track her down and uh, Lee, at least, and they're going to make a shocking discovery about her, right? About who she really is. And I don't want to spoil the episode too much or anything, but there's going to be something involving an author and a series of books, right? I'll let you find out for yourselves what happens and how, because I don't want to spoil the episode too much or anything. You understand that, don't you? But, uh, yeah, in the meantime, the um, local DAs, the local DA's job is up for grabs again. It's election time, and uh, Davalos decides to run for election, so he throws his hat in the ring, basically. He throws his hat on, in the ring, and uh, he decides to run and uh, for election, and uh, he's basically running a, a campaign against his opponent, Van Dyke, who is basically the current local, the current local DA, and basically it appears that someone very close to, to, to him, to the Valos, is basically might be planning something nasty against him, right? So I believe that's pretty much it for this episode. There's not much to say, really, not much else to say. So. <clears throat> Let me, let's just move on to the characters, and then, of course, I will be basically giving my personal opinion on it and wrapping this review up. So, basically, we have the main characters. No need to get get into the main ones. But then we have Jude Psycholila, Psycho Jude Psycholila, who plays Richard Madsen, Richard Madsen. John Brosky plays Tom Van Dyke. Sarah Botsford plays Constance Madsen. Mark Herlick plays Elliot Davis. Brian Hallisay plays Sean Covey. Matt Cohen plays Ryan Hass. <coughs> Edward Finlay. Finley. Edward Finley plays actor. 
<clears throat> Peter Porti plays fourth man. Rosena Arquette plays. Michelle Todd. Todd Weeks plays. Ben Salzberg. And finally, <clears throat> Neil Swarey plays Officer Mills. Officer Mills. And last but not least, Miranda Carabillo plays Marie. I'm sorry if I if I <clears throat> if I pronounce wrong any of the names, but those are the main ones in this episode, right? And as you probably have heard me say, Rosanna Arquette <clears throat> is part of the episode. Arquette, right? So basically same last name as as Patricia, who plays Allison in the show. I believe this is her sister, right? It's like a big uh, family of actors. So basically you have David Arquette, you have Patricia Arquette, and apparently Rosanna Arquette. And basically she plays, she guest stars in this episode. She's the main character of the episode. She's the right, she's, uh, she plays a writer. Uh, but also, yeah, she plays a writer in this episode. And, uh, that writer is, is, uh, that writer has, is basically, that writer is linked to that cougar I was telling you about before. But I don't want to spoil the episode, so I won't tell you how exactly. But yeah, so this is basically it. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Keep clearing my throat. So what did I think about this episode? I love this episode. It was so great, so awesome indeed. Really liked the concept. And uh, some, of the, some of the scenes in there, some of the murdering scenes killing scenes, whatever you're going to call them, were pretty scary, especially one of them in a in a room, and uh, there's a flight attendant, there's a, not a flight attendant, a, boy, I forgot, and something, something has to do with the Navy, I forgot, a, <clears throat> some kind of a naval officer, I believe, I, I don't remember, but uh, you get the picture, you know, Basically, there's going to be that scene that was pretty scary. And basically, they're, they're wearing hats and like this big, you know. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a naval officer who's wearing these clothes. You know what I'm talking about, right? And basically, there's going to be a very scary scene in there. A very like disturbing scene. <laughs> Something you didn't see coming. The scene in the car was pretty good. And uh, the nail gun scene was awful, you know, like in the re at the restaurant, <clears throat> in in one of the back rooms, and uh, yeah, the beginning of the episode though was pretty good, especially when you have this uh, this woman, this uh, this woman who's talking, and basically she's detailing out who she is and how men are vulnerable and so on, and basically. At first, in the first opening scene at least, you have that basically church group. And basically, it's kind of like a, you know, one of those, you know, church uh, counseling. One of those counseling groups for people who've, 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 who, are, who are going through something difficult. And basically, they confide, they confide in other people. And the other people are trying to help them and so on. And basically, they're having a talk and so on. Basically, this is this is the first scene, and you have that woman talking. Basically, she's uh, she's right there, and she's talking, and this is how the episode begins, and she's explaining her intentions and so on. In a white back with a white background at the very beginning. This is the first scene. I thought it was pretty good, but yeah, this episode was pretty good. Rosanna Arquette did an awesome job. Everything was great in this episode. I loved it so much. I love this episode, and. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. And uh, so, Rosanna Arquette is one of my favorite characters of the episode. My favorite character, my favorite actress from this episode. And then Jude Saikulila, who plays another character who supposedly develops his friend. This guy was in other television shows and movies as well. I believe he's an awesome actor. Loved him, especially at some point where he's just, uh, he's just, uh, you know, tearing up. You know, you can tell that he's not comfortable with something that happens. I won't tell you what. But yeah, this episode was awesome. Lady Killer. Big hats off to 
Roseanne Arquette, who's living up to her last name. She's awesome. She was awesome in this episode. Really great actress. So if I were to rate this episode on a scale from 1 to 10, I would give it 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. Really loved this episode. Really enjoyed it. So 9.5 out of 10 for this episode. Really loved it. 9.5 out of 10. What about you folks? What do you think about this episode? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below. We'd really love to hear about your thoughts and views on this episode. In the meantime, folks, stay safe. Goodbye. Take care of this whole channel for you. Signing off.